Hi friends, my name is Pastor Mario and I am the pastor of Faith Formation here at the River Christian Reformed Church in Redlands, California, which is right in between Los Angeles and Palm Springs. And I have the honor and privilege to share the devotion with you this morning. And our devotion comes out of Psalms 62, verses 1 and 2. And it says this, Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. Truly, He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. You see, all of us have habits. We have some good habits. We have some bad habits. Some bad habits, okay? One time in particular, I was leaving the restroom and after you use the restroom, you wash your hands. And there was one individual I see left the restroom but didn't wash their hands. And I thought to myself, how many people have that bad habit of, of not taking care of themselves like that and taking care of others? And like, this is not good hygiene. Like, that's a bad habit to have. Bad hygiene is a bad habit. But there are also some really good habits, okay? Uh, people who decide to exercise regularly. Well done, good job. I don't do that. I should, but I don't. That's a good habit to have. But there's one habit that I think many of us can struggle with, and it's a habit of rest. Rest is something that we long for. I think everybody desires rest. There's not one person who thinks, nope, I don't need rest. We all need rest. Every single one of us. It doesn't matter where you at in your season of life. If you are a student, if you are a young, in a young family, if you're retired, um, we all need rest. But yet rest is something that we just don't long, we long for, but we also, it's so easy for us to push rest to the side. And there's, I believe that there is such a deep scripture calling of us to enter rest. We see in Psalm 62, truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Rest is so important. Rest in God is so important because we know when we rest in God, A, that our body is restored. That's what Sabbath is. Sabbath, Sabbath is a time of restoration. And when we look at what it means for us to enter rest, rest means, like for us to enter rest, means that God is going to be at work in us and through us. He restores us. That's what Sabbath is. I think of times throughout scripture where we see God emphasize rest in a very important way. For example, let's look at David first, quick second. David was running away from Saul and Saul was on a journey to kill David. He had a plan, he was gonna kill David and David was running and running and running, running for his life. And at one point he just tells God, I'm done, I'm tired of running, just kill me now. And instead, we, we would expect that God would say, pick up your sword and fight, or go get a slingshot and, and throw a rock at him, at Saul. But no, God tells David to do something that's like, oh my, God tells David to stop, eat, and go take a nap. There's power behind that. Here is, we have God telling David to go take some food, eat it, and then go take a nap. Let your body be restored. And I believe so many of us are tired. It's that season in between Christmas and Easter where there's not many breaks. You're, you're in your normal routine. You're going and going and going. And yet sometimes rest is not part of that routine. My encouragement for you is to find rest. Enter that habit of rest. If that means five minutes a day of just stopping and doing nothing, give yourself five minutes. Sometimes we don't believe we have five minutes to do nothing, but doing nothing does not equate to laziness. Doing nothing does not equate to being a bad person. When we rest in God, knowing that as we sit in that space of, of stillness, that God is at work within us and through us, that as we rest in him, that he is going to be our fortress, that we're not going to be shaken, that it gives us a sense of clarity of what is happening in us, through us, and what is happening around us. Tiredness leads to burnout. And burnout causes us to lose interest in many things. It causes our relationships to be hindered. 
it causes us to see things a lot different. It may perhaps in a darker way, but the reality is, is that God calls us to rest. In rest, God restores, God protects and provides. And when we rest in confidence, we know that God is there to save us. I encourage you this day to find five to 10 minutes to rest. If that means taking a quick nap, going for a walk, or even reading, find that time where you can just relax and allow God to restore you. And may he store with, may he do his work in you and through you. And may you be a blessing to those around you. Be blessed.